Hello students, this is problem 1.8, it means chapter 1 and 8th problem and these problems are from the book I wrote general physics problems uh, and the question is two boats A and B move away from a bio anchored buoy anchored at the middle of a river along the mutually perpendicular straight lines the boat A along the river and B across the river have, having moved off an equal distance from the buoy A the boats return find the ratio of time of motion of boats both respectively uh, first A and then B if the velocity of each boat with respect to water is 1.2 times greater than the stream velocity then A is uh, moving uh, along the river so for A the diagram will be like this this is A and is moving along the direction of river that up to a distance D suppose then since this is the direction of flow of river let the velocity of uh, stream is U and that of the uh, boat is 1.2 times that of the river so velocity of boat will be 1.2 U again once that it is A once again the problem A is the point the starting point B is the final destination D is the distance travelled so in the direction of flow time taken to travel this much distance will be D over 1.2 U plus U this is the time by the first person to reach from A to the point P suppose the distance along the river this is the flow direction u and from a to p the first person will take a time d by 1.2 u plus the time is distance over velocity distance is d 1.2 u is the velocity of boat and u is the velocity of river so total velocity will be 1.2 u plus u and time taken will be d by 2.2 u and for the return journey from p to a time taken will be d over 1.2 u minus u so it is d by 0.2 u because in this case in the return journey you are moving you are moving opposite to the direction of reverse flow so your velocity will be the difference of uh, your velocity and river velocity so boat ko a se p tak jaane mein jo time laga hai wo d upon sum of the velocities of river and boat it is d by 2.2 u and in the returning journey since the motion of boat the direction of motion of boat is opposite to the direction of flow of river so time taken will be distance over velocity in this case velocity resultant will be the difference of two velocities it is g by d by 0.2 so total time taken in this flow will be t equal to t1 plus t2 it is d by 2.2 u plus d by 0.2 u we have to find the ratio of times of motion so time by the person uh, who is moving along the flow of river this is the first person A this is the first person A who is moving along the river so for uh, the person along the river total time taken will be this you can take dy u common and on solving it will be 2.2 2.2 1 2.2 and it is 0.2 it is 11 so the LCM of 2.2 and 0.2 is 2.2 2.2 1 2.1 0.2 11 this so total time taken will be d by u and it is 12 by 2.2 this much time will be taken by the first person who is uh, who is uh, swimming along and opposite to the direction flow now the second person b who moves uh, across the river uh, want to move perpendicular uh, to the first person first person is flowing first in the direction of river then opposite to the direction of river so for maintaining uh, himself perpendicular to the direction of first two, second will create a condition like this that this is the person B and for making its direction perpendicular to the flow of first A it will travel with some angle in backward direction that its velocity is uh, 1.2 U it is given that 1.2 times the stream velocity so its velocity is 1.2 U and 1.2 U cos theta is the component due to which he is crossing the river its velocity opposite to the flow velocity is 1.2 u sin theta and velocity of river is u so for maintaining himself perpendicular to the river it is compulsion that 1.2 u sin theta could be equal to u and on solving this you will get sin theta as 1 upon 1.2 it is 10 by 12 and 5 by 6 sin theta equal to 5 by 6 by sin theta 5 by 6 
you can obtain the value of cos theta also because you know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos square theta equal to 1 so the value of cos theta will be under root of 1 minus 25 by 36 because cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta and cos theta is root of under root 1 minus sin square theta sin theta is 5 by 6 so it's a square is 25 by 36 on solving this you will get 11 under root by 6 so cos theta is 11 under root by 6 and this is the velocity 1.2 u cos theta due to which particle is crossing the river so time taken to cross the river will be t1 equal to distance d same distance d over velocity 1.2 u cos theta this is the time taken by the second person to approach from b point to q point और चूंकि क्वेश्चन है कि वापस भी आना है तो सेकंड टाइम में वापस आते वक्त इसका फ्लो डायरेक्शन ये होगा बट टाइम विल बी सेम एज दैट सो टोटल टाइम विल बी टोटल टाइम टू अप्रोच फ्रॉम बी टू क्यू एंड फ्रॉम क्यू टू बी विल बी टू टाइम्स डी ओवर 1.2 यू cos थीटा दिस इज द टाइम टेकन बाय द सेकंड पर्सन सो दिस विल बी द टाइम टेकन बाय द फर्स्ट पर्सन एंड दिस मच टाइम इज टेकन बाय द सेकंड पर्सन नाउ you uh, we have to obtain the ratio of these two you have a question to revise cut there two boats and we move away from a boy anchor at the middle of river along the mutual perpendicular straight line first is moving along in the opposite to river so it is a compulsion for a second to make itself perpendicular to river and for making itself perpendicular it is a compulsion to follow with some angle um, some angle uh, from the line b q so uh, first our aim is to calculate that theta which is required for making the condition possible so 1.2 u is the velocity of uh, boat 1.2 u cos theta is the component due to which particle is um, boat is crossing the river and 1.2 sin theta opposes the flow of river so maintaining itself along bq it is necessary that 1.2 u sin theta will be equal to u sin theta is 5 by 6 by sin theta cos theta will be root 11 by 6 ये trigonometry की identity आप easily use कर सकते हैं ये कैसे solve हुआ है करके देखें it is root 11 by 6 so time taken to cross the river along b q will be distance d over velocity 1.2 u cos theta and since same time will be taken by the particle in the opposite journey so total time is twice of that it is 2 d by 1.2 u cos theta now compare this time now we have to obtain the ratio of this time and that time so answer time taken by a and time taken by v b will be d by u 12 by 2.2 upon d by u again and 2 by 1.2 cos theta so this will be the ratio d 12 by u 2.2 is the time taken by first a and d by u 2 by 1.2 cos theta is time taken by second so cancel d u d u you will get this cos theta is root 11 by 6 now apply all the values and get the solution thank you